All right, here's part two of the John Deere 116. I haven't done much. I got the deck off and I changed the oil in it. When well, I put oil in it, I took the old stuff out. There wasn't much left in there. That's why I didn't run it in the last one. But the reason we took the deck off is because I had a few problems here. This arm runs down to another arm coming off the deck. That arm was broke off and it was just uh, wire tied on there. And also the spindle bearings were bad, so we got to get new ones those. But I figured while I have the camera out, I got this half dead battery in here. Might as well try to start it up for you. It's only got one problem, and that's that it runs okay. I mean, when it's idling, you'll surge up and down. Not bad. You can barely notice it. Other than that, it needs all new tires. Well, it doesn't need them, but they could use them. They are still all there, so I'm going to go ahead and fire this up. And also, I take this out. If you look down in here, I grab this. See this wire down here? This is the jumper because the neutral switch is not in there. And I can't find a replacement part. So, that's alright. I hope the seat's not wet because it rained a little bit the other day. And the choke cable sticks for some reason. Start going in, huh? I don't know why it does this. There we go. That could be due to no fuel in the tank. <laughs> uh, we'll see again. So I don't have to push this. It's hard to do one handed. Yeah, I'd say it's about empty. Alright, well, there you go. Anyway, there it is, part two. This is probably going to have part three because there's more work needed to be done. So, check out the other videos.